Well, all right then. No, he shouts. Yeah, here we go. Look! Ah. So that's what happens if you try to walk into the mist normally. Not fun. Ah. <laughs> It's a good thing Clear Skies uh, <coughs> refreshes pretty quickly. You can see the bar is pretty much already done. If you don't run, you'll pretty much run into the mist thing as soon as it recharges. So they spaced them out pretty good. Although I think it could have been a little further for people who are running through here. But... Mm. Ah! Ice penis! What? What? What else could that be? Fine. So I'm the only one who thought that. Yeah, sure. Path to Parthenex is treacherous, filled with various ice penises. It is not to be taken lightly. Yeah, I'll probably just ruin this for you. <laughs> By calling them ice penises. I apologize. I'm kidding. I never apologize! <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, I'm flying. Okay. How did that happen? Maybe the ice penis rubbed off on me. Okay, I'll stop now, I swear. <laughs> that was a little far. Yeah, that, that was a little far. But hey, my one-handed got to 40. Okay, god damn it, I'm still in the... <sighs> At least it wasn't my two-handed. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm... Wow, my mind is so much in the gutter right now. <coughs> so, off the subject of, um... Whatever that subject was. Look, beautiful. Uh, I love those auroras. Or northern lights, or whatever. I, they're auroras. Official name, Aurora Borealis. But it is. But still, they're beautiful. Have I mentioned that Skyrim is beautiful before? Pretty sure I have. I think this is the actual... This is actually the only place where you need the clear sky shot. Because the other ones, yeah, they hurt you or drain your stamina or something like that, but you can pass them without it. So I don't know, that's I guess that's technically the only place where you need it, but you'll wanna do some you'll wanna do it in other places. Dremulok greetings Wundunik I am Parthenac. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? They see me as master, Wuth Onik, old and wise. It is true I am old. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. 
Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dover King. I have spoken. The Rotmulag waits. Show me what you can do. Greet me not as mortal, but as Dover. <gasps> ah, yes. Sosedo Vrostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sauce, Dragon Blood. What would you ask of me? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Alduin Comet Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Yes, Alduin, Zembach. The Elder Brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with Firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Hmm, true. But Kostid, prophecy, tells what may be, not what should be. Kostid Salo Ak. Just because you can do a thing does not always mean you should. Hm. Do you have no better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez, of fate? And so, perhaps your destiny will be fulfilled, who can say? Desmot Mahus, even to the Dove who ride the currents of time, destiny is elusive. Alduin believes that he will prevail with good reason, Rachmul. And he is no fool, Nime, Rinnik Gutnol, far from it. He began as the wisest and most far-seeing of us all. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough, Croesus. 
Now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? Mm, true, but few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Hmm, yes and no. Viknuzni Karon. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. Drem your lock, greetings.